so we're off on another fishing trip. Hopefully that'll be an adventure. I'm off down to the towers again. I'm going to go to the bridge. I've been going down there most nights during the last few weeks. Feeding them up. Working out where they swim, where they hold out. And I think I'm going to do a good session. I've done my homework as I just said. So I think I can pull in a few fish now. I've seen some really big fish through certain parts. I'm going to have to go for some of them. What I call big fish is five, six pounders. It should be way over my PB trout. I think my PB trout is around two pounds. So hopefully we'll have a PB today if not my food. That's the plan anyway. I've worked out the spinning right through like a little spinner sort of thing and they'll grab it on the way through. So we'll be trying that again. They sometimes take off the surface depending on what mood they're in. Depending on how high the river is. If the river's low then they seem to take off the surface more. If the river's high then they don't seem to take as much. But anyway, join me on the trip. I'm going to pop some orange, grab a few little bits, I need some hooks. Um, I might even get a little lure or something like that, just have a little go. And we'll get down the bridge and have a little go. I'm going to go down in the Anglin direct today to get a few bits. We'll go from there. So I'll be back soon. See if we can catch a few fish. Should be an entertaining session. Like I said, I've been building it up. Today's the day. So let's go catch some PBs, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm in Norwich now, come along Ocean Road. Tackle shop's just down the road here, on the right. Definitely get space. Good. That should do us. to jump into the car <laughs> absolutely pouring with rain I don't want to get completely soaked right through so just jumped into the car for 10 minutes wait for it to calm down and I'll get out again <laughs> terrible so while it's pouring rain and I can't fish I'll show you what I picked up in the tackle shop it's just to top up the tackle box a little bit got some spinners of trout nice minnow floating dives down to about two foot Great, just some more hooks for the old chub, the forceps, the scourger, a few bits, got a tub of maggots. God, oh, that rain is terrible. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, just topped up my box so I can carry on fishing. Well, definitely not a good start. Didn't really want to be standing in this. I will if I have to. I have a few casts in it just to make the session. We'll get the session started and catch a few fish hopefully, but <laughs> didn't really want this sort of weather. But you got to do what you got to do. I haven't got no water first, I'm just literally in a jumper and a hat, so that's not so good. <coughs> Excuse me. But I don't mind a bit of drizzly rain, but this is absolutely poor and I'll be drenched in two seconds. <laughs> oh, trying to calm down a bit. Right, let's get the rod set up anyway. I'll stand on in the back of the boot and get that put together. So, looking really nice today. The river's a bit high, past I've seen it so far I'm fishing. A lot deeper down here. A lot deeper all the way across to be honest. Can't even see the bottom so much now. Tend slightly down here. Now I know earlier this morning there was all boats in here and they were servicing the bridge, so could have scared off a fish for a bit. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Let's do it. Let's have a few casts and see what we get. So I've had a few casts with the bread, a couple of takes. But I've worked out if you spin the bread through, so I spin them around in the water, they grab it as it's coming through. So that's ideal. So I've now had a few fish, sort of a pound and a half size. And then this big old thing. Must be at least five pound. What do you think? So 
that we're in again. First fish on my new spinner. That's your little chub. Right, at least we caught on it. Had a couple of casts now. Getting used to how to use it and how to make it dive and go sideways and stuff like that. We've had a fish on it. Brilliant. Woohoo! Well, fish on again. Nice big trout. Must be around three pounds this one. Shame I forgot my stand. I can't show me and plan them in, but as I'm showing photos as I go along. Okay, we're in again, another fish. Pound and a half, two pound again, I think. Another brown trout. So I'm getting a few now on the, I'm spinning the bread through and they're grabbing it as I go through, so that's great. Okay, I'll carry on, see if I can get some more. Well, it's pouring rain again, so I'm just gonna stop for 10 minutes and have a bit of lunch. Got a sandwich, bag of crisps, drink there, so I'll have a little nibble. And I'll carry on again. Seem to be getting a few fish. That's some really good sized trout. Good to get a little chub on me little spinner. I'll try that again later on. See if I can get another fish on that. But bread seem to be doing the trick at the moment. I've got the other spinners to try, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to use them down here because you need to be able to float it through under the bridge and then retrieve, but you can't really do that with a sinking spinner because you can't get the cast. But we'll carry on because I'm sure we're gonna get a few more fish despite the weather. <laughs> so I've now had three or four more fish so I'll whack some photos up and show you them all around sort of one and a half two pound mark hopefully we'll get some more bigger ones so we'll keep trying with these different baits and I'll update you as I go along Well, I'm getting loads of bites, hooking up to a fair few fish, as you can probably see. I've just had, I think, three more around the sort of two pound mark. So I'll put the photos of them up and we'll carry on and see if we can get some more bigger ones. I'm really happy with how I seem to have worked this all out. I'm catching a lot more fish now and I'm getting bigger fish. I've had quite a few fish sort of on the three, three and a half pound mark. I've had the one over five pound. So I think I'm doing fairly well. I don't know how big they're gonna go in this teeny little river, but if they go much bigger than that, then I'll be quite impressed. I know there's some chubs sort of five, six pound in here, so I'd like to get some of them. And we'll have a good go for them at some point. Okay, so I'll whack up some photos of the other ones that we just caught, and we'll carry on doing a bit more fish. A few more casts and I've had a few more fish. Some quite big again, over the three pound to four pound mark. So I seem to be doing really well and I think I've worked this spot out. Doing your research and coming down here or coming down to your local water a lot will make a big difference in your fishing. You work out where the fish live, when they're taken on the surface, when they're taken on the bottom, where they move the daytime, nighttime, stuff like that. All the different things that they do will improve your fishing by miles. This river's still rising. You can see down there on the grass bank starting to cover up. So I reckon in the next few days that's going to be covered. So do the fish move into these deeper spots or not? I don't know. We shall see. I shall keep trying and hopefully keep showing you some big fish. Right, so I'll put the pictures up of the rest of the fish I've had so far and we'll see if we can get some more. Well, 
Well, I seem to be doing extremely well. Keep breaking my PBs. I have three pounders, four pounders, five pounders. I've had quite a few now. I've dropped a couple on the way in as well. I mean, if you think only two weeks ago I'd never caught a trout, and now I've put a bit of time and effort into learning what's what all, all about them. Still got lots to learn, but I seem to be putting a lot of fish on the bank, so I'm obviously doing something right. I'm going to get myself a spinning rod, a light spinning rod and reel, so I can go in and out all the trees and stuff like that and through all the vegetation like I normally do and have a flick around in some other spots and see if we can get some other fish or some big chub and stuff like that as well but that'll be another video um, I'll carry on here on this video and hopefully we'll still get some more but I'm having a blinding session anyway so we're doing really really well I'm not sure how many fish I've had now it must be 10 plus and over half of them have been over 3 pounds so I think that's pretty good for wild brown trout from what I can work out so I'll keep trying, I'll keep learning and we'll bring more fish to camera hopefully and have some really good days and some good fun catching these fish. Right, so let's see what else we can get. Stop raining again now, so we'll have a few more cars. Okay, so we're just trying to for all this lot. Come along the river looking for a good spot. I know previously I've been here. So I know this spot's looking pretty good and I've also seen big chub on this inside line and under that tree a few times now so hopefully we'll run through a few times and we'll get some fish so let's have a go see what happens I'm going to try to spin her in here a couple of times just to see what's what and we'll go from there so we've got the minnow on again getting caught in all the undergrowth the pain. Well, that's what you get for doing this sort of fishing. And this little spinner dives down to maybe two foot. Nice and shiny rainbow colour. Hasn't got a rattle this one. Okay so let's have a few casts and see what we get. Well I've been drifting some maggots down along the bottom. And I think I've just had my first rainbow. Anyone can let me know, but I think that's a rainbow trout. About two pound, I would say, probably. Well, really chuffed with that. It's my first trout from actually down the river and not on the actual bridge where I've caught all the rest. So, seems to be progressing nicely. Trying deep holes and spots and slacks and fast water, trying all sorts of things just to get the fish going. I actually see this one coming chasing up after the maggots, which is quite cool. Okay, so we'll have a few more casts here, we can get some more. We're in again. Chub this time. Not as big as the trout we've been getting. A bit lively. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, they still. You get the idea. Probably about We're in again. Lovely fish. We're getting a few, just trying the maggots along, putting about 10 on the hook, and then just throwing some out along the stream. So we're definitely getting a few, I'm getting loads of bites doing this sort of method. Obviously some of them are smaller fish, but there's got to be some bigger ones under there somewhere. What are these big five, six pound chub going to take? Are we going to be lucky and get something like that? Maybe, you never know. So let's keep trawling on through and see what we can get. Like, I'm casting quite close in under the tree, I'm not actually letting it go down the stream very far, though it seemed to be in front of me and not further down, so that's good. So the feed's holding the bottom in front of me, so let's have a few more goes and see how we get on. Well, I'm getting a few more. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these are roach, aren't they? The red fins. They're not chub. Quite nice size, getting a few bites. Quite nice to get a mixed species of stuff. Right, I'll get this one back. See what else we can get. What I'm doing is fishing under there towards that. I see in there on the, under the front of that lot. Pretty much getting a bite every cast. Or something. Losing a few fish. The middle flow don't seem to be picking up any fish whatsoever. And 
got this all coming around the corner like that. But this definitely seems to be the inside line is where the fish are, so we'll carry on doing that. Hopefully they'll get a bit bigger. So I've decided to put the rod down for a couple of minutes just to see if I can ledger and catch like that instead of just drifting it through. So we'll see what happens. Keeps raining on and off. Really heavy rain for like two or three minutes and then that's gone. Pretty strange. So hopefully this tip will go around and we'll get a big chub. That'd be nice. Even maybe a perch. To be honest, I don't mind. It's nice to catch a few fish, but it'd be nice to dig out some of the bigger stuff as well. We've already had a really good time on the bridge anyway. Can't really ask for much more. But you never know, you got to keep trying, and you? So, we'll keep in this position for a little bit. And if not, we may move next door. Or we may try something different, may put a spinner on, a sinking spinner or something like that on and try something like that. May try some bread. We'll just keep switching up until we keep bringing in fish. Well, the rod just went absolutely hammering round and this is what was on the end. We have a hell of a fight for the size of the fish. So we're getting plenty of fish still. This one's a brownie I think. Love a job, let's keep catching them. So trout are taking static baits as well then. I wouldn't expect that. I thought sitting on the bottom like that, I'd probably get a chub, roach, that sort of stuff. But trout seem to be whacking the rod right around. I've got a bite now. They literally just take off with a rod, bend it right around. I mean this is actually a carp rod, this is not a little river rod. It's just what I'm using at the moment. So, there's some big chub swimming close in. I can see sort of four, five, six pounders swimming along the inside margin, but they don't seem to be taking any bait. Don't know why. Maybe they're just not in a feeding mood, or this is not what they want. They're not after maggots or bread. I'll have to try down there at some point with a worm, I think. And that sort of stuff. Try again with the spinners at some point. We'll get one out at some point. I think we're doing pretty well today anyway. And we'll carry on, as you can probably hear. It's pouring with rain again. Bit of a pain, but... Only seems to go across sort of five minute showers, ten minute showers. And then it dries up again. So not too bad. Nice to be out on the river anyway. Right, so let's try and get some more bites. Well, we'll not try, I know for a fact we will. We seem to have them feeding down there now. So, let's see what comes up next. Definitely looks nice under here and you can see why the big fish live under here. Just got to work ahead to get these big chub out. They literally down here, you can see them swimming down across there. Right on this inside line. They come through in groups of like four or five. So I take it they will stay together. Sure, at some point we'll get one out. Rain's not giving up much this time, it's been a bit of a pig. But we're still gonna carry on. Till we can't, till we're absolutely drenched. <laughs> you better see the road down there in the distance. It's pretty rough up there. And then that'll clear back up again, hopefully. <laughs> and that'll be dry again for 10 minutes. We'll see what happens. Right, I need to put the phone away. <laughs> well, it's absolutely poured now for the last half an hour, 40 minutes. I'm absolutely drenched. <laughs> all my clothes are sticking to me. I've got to walk through all this yucky, wet vegetation on the way back. But we're still here, and we're still trying. <laughs> I keep getting a few bites, I'm missing bites at the moment. I've now got bread on, trying for a chub. That's the plan anyway. But it's absolutely pouring and I'm drenched. 
So this is what I look like at the moment. I'm literally soaked right through. And my trousers. <laughs> Hard to tell, but they're wet. <laughs> Stick them to me. I hope my phone's waterproof. Should be. Yeah, I'm a bit wet. <laughs> the river's just coming across over here all the time. Pouring like mad. Just over there. Looks like it's quite bright and not so bad. But we're not there, so there's nothing we can do about it. Let's just carry on and let's try and get another bite and another fish. For some reason, in these wet, when I get soaked in these sort of trips, I always seem to catch some good fish. And be rewarded for it, so hopefully. Well, I already have really for what I've caught today, but hopefully again, something else will come out. And we'll be rewarded for getting absolutely drenched. <laughs> well, it looks like I found a good spot for some decent sized roach. Some quite nice roach coming out of here. I wonder how big they go in here. Obviously been forgotten about. And just had the chance to sit there and grow on natural baits. Right, so let's get it back and see what else we can get. The weather's gone absolutely crazy. Got big thunderstorms going across just behind the trees there. Everything's just yuck at the moment. I'm soaked right through. But there we go. <laughs> Got a fish on the days you can fish. Because otherwise I'd be at work. And I won't be able to fish, so just got to do the days you can do. Right, let's get some more fish. Well, it's been an hour or so now. It's been probably raining for nearly two hours non-stop. I'm absolutely drenched right through, as you can probably see. Um, I've had somewhere around another five to seven roach and uh, another three chub. I haven't been bringing them to camera because it's been raining so hard there's no way I'd have been able to get it out without absolutely soaking it. It's literally only just lightened up slightly now. So I'm quickly coming on camera just to update everyone. I'll spin you around and show you what I'm doing. So as before, still ledging on the bottom just under this tree. Under there. I'm pretty much getting bites within a couple of minutes of being under there every cast they're not always big fish i've had a couple of smaller ones but most of them are a decent size for what i was expecting to catch so i'll carry on for a bit more getting a bit cold now because i'm obviously soaked right through but it's quarter past five now anyway so it's gonna be dark within the next two hours so we'll carry on for a bit more and see how we get on Well, it's starting to get dark now. I know it doesn't look like it on the camera, but it is. And the bite seemed to have slowed down a bit. Don't know if there's a reason for that. I think with the water being more coloured and darker, that will probably get more bites, but it seemed to be working their way around. So I think what I'll do is I'll give this a couple more casts, you know, to get one more fish out. Then I'll start wandering back down towards the bridge. I can jump in the car for 10 minutes and get the old heaters on, warm up a little bit, and I can have a few more casts on the bridge. Just into for the last hour before I get dark. Normally when I get a few fish out of there. So I'll do that. And I'll wander back down for all this lot. I'll see you back down at the bridge, which is right down there, if you can see. fairly soon okay well back at the car now so I can have a bit of warm-up and then we'll have another go on the bridge but what surprised me as I've just got back here is the water's come up a hell of a lot I'll actually show you so I've been down here we're into the river now for I don't know three four hours something like that we'll see you this this morning and there weren't no water up on the grass now look where it is getting deeper and deeper by the minute and whether that would be a good thing for the fishing or not I don't know but we'll have a go and see what happens 
I'm just going to sit in the car for 10 minutes and warm up and we'll go from there. Well, I couldn't get anywhere if I tried. I might as well have been swimming in the river. <laughs> I'm literally dripping. I took most stuff off apart from my t-shirt and bottoms. Um, going to attempt to warm up and have a few more casts on the bridge here before it gets dark. Hopefully we'll get another fish just before we go and hopefully that'll be a big one. But as you can see by conditions, the, the flood waters are just rising and rising by the hour. So we'll have a good go, see what happens before we go home. But we've had a good day, I mean we've had some really big fish. I mean, uh, trout over five pounds is nothing to sniff about, I mean that's, my PB was two. I think I had a couple at three and a half pound. I think I had another one at over four and then the five so I broke my PB loads of times in one session just from some research earlier on during the week coming down just seeing what they're doing working out where they live how they feed stuff like that so I recommend doing this on your own waters and you should catch more fish also you got to work out the baits and stuff like what it takes so keep swapping and changing don't just sit there on one bait all day keep switching it up try lures, try bread. I even caught trout on maggots today, I mean, the one thing they haven't took yet is the lures, which you meant to catch them on, so we'll see, let's see how it goes. Right, I'm going to spin you around because there's a lovely big rainbow just come up, so I'll show you that. I'll warm up a bit and then we'll have a couple more casts. Look at that, lovely. And that sign. Is that telling me to carry on fishing? That telling me to go home, you've had a good day, well done. Until next time. Right, I'm gonna warm up, we we'll have a couple more casts off here. I'm gonna try the lure again, once I've tried bread. And then that's gonna be time to wrap things up, I think. Okay, so I've had half an hour now, of warming up in the car, my bottoms are still soaked. My tops and stuff are not dry enough to put on. So, I'm going to go out there in a t-shirt which is going to be cold, have a few more casts in that really deep water and see what reaction we get from the fish. I'm going to trot some bread through on the first cast because I normally seem to do fairly well with that and if we don't get any bites on that I'm then going to put the little minnow back on and see if we can get a take from that off a trout or a chub or whatever's down there. Surprised there ain't no perch in the river, there probably is, just haven't had one yet and we'll see how we get on. The weather seems to have calmed down a bit now. It's not pouring with rain anymore. So we'll get down there, see what we can do. And I'll be back if I can get another fish. So I've had a good go with the minnow. Not seen to get any bites whatsoever. I know there's fish down there because they're topping. A couple of them are crashed out as well, so they're taking bits off the surface as it go through. So I'm gonna give the old bottom spinners a go. Don't know how good they're going to be, but you're not going to find out unless you try them, are you? So we'll have a go with them. Not sure which one to use. I think I'm going to use the one that looks a bit like a fish. And I'll go from there. So we'll have a few casts with that. It's getting quite dark now. Hopefully we'll get a bite. Bread didn't do anything either. So, not sure what's going on down there at the moment. Looks like it's been disturbed today as well anyway. And plus I had a load of fish out there this morning, so can't complain. It's half six now, it's nearly dark. We're gonna have a few more casts and see how we get on. So I've had a few casts with different spinners. Don't seem to be getting any takes. I had one take under the bridge. But apart from that, don't seem to be doing anything on the spinners. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think so. They're going through the water quite nicely. They just don't seem to be taking them. But they're definitely coming up on the top and crashing for leaves and stuff. So I'm gonna float some bread through and see if we can get one like that. It's getting pretty dark now, but the street lights are on and this place is always lit up, so that's quite handy. So we'll have a go at that, see if we can get a fish out like that. And hopefully we can get one more fish before we pack up. It isn't raining anymore, so that's good news. A bit cold in just a t-shirt. My bottoms are a bit wet, but that's what you gotta do when you got a fish. And you've only got certain days to do it, so let's have a go and see what we get on. Well, as you can see, it's dark now. Can't seem to get many bites at the moment. I don't know if it's because of the higher water. 
nothing seemed to be working. Trying bread, trying spinners, trying on the surface, trying to trotting through. Just seemed to be going a bit slow. Can't complain, had a really good day. A bit chilly out here in just a t-shirt, but we're still going. I'm gonna have a couple more casts, I think, and we'll go from there. Well, I switched to Ledgerin. I'm picking up a few little trout now. Got maggots on. And I'm just sitting in the car warming up and leaving it at the wall. Seen me catching a few fish. Here's a picture. than that. BMW just come flying up behind me. Smashed straight into the bollards at the end of the air. Two posts got out, jumped over the fence and across the road there. Police all come flying down behind me. Pretty much pushed me over the bridge. <laughs> I was lucky. We weren't expecting that down here. Well, someone should have been doing something there. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, I certainly weren't expecting that. <laughs> Nearly got pushed off a bridge by the speeding car. This is a new shaped BMW. I'll try and get the front end of it. As I pull out on the main road if possible. It's in a mess, I reckon, because that smashed straight into the bollards. <laughs> and he was probably doing. I would guess he's probably doing 40, 50. I'll just pop around as, as I go around the corner, I should be able to film it. <laughs> as long as I'm careful. Whew, got the adrenaline going. <laughs> Not very often. Do. Speeding car come flying up behind you when you're fishing, and then two police cars as well. And just totally rough car. I got the bloke, I've got him bent over the bonnet in cuffs right now. All right, let's try and get a bit of footage. crazy one you didn't expect that sort of thing to happen when you're fishing do you <laughs> lucky I didn't get driven into on my car didn't get smashed up but there we go oh, as you can gather I obviously packed up when all that happened because they're gonna be there for a while and then they had to get the recovery truck down there to get the car out and all that sort of stuff didn't have to make a statement or nothing like that so that was good so all I can do now is say thanks for watching the video, please like and subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you soon in the next videos. Hopefully we'll catch you again like that and whatever we do next, because we must have had 35, 40 fish today, and a lot of them were really decent size, so that's really good. We have some big PBs for me. So that's great and I reckon that'll take me a while to get a five pound trout out of there again but you never know because I did have some four pounders and some three pounders and quite a few two pounders so you never know there could be some bigger ones in there okay so I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye